Let's go. Those are my favorite. I love strawberries and good pizzas. I know. But didn't you ever have smelly markers? Oh. That's upsetting. It should. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. You watching? Wrong way, good man. On which it could have crashed at any moment in a blazing rotor chopping fireball of doom. Still think the webhead's protecting people like you, caller. Well, he stopped them, and he made sure the helicopter didn't land on him. So, it seems to me he did the right thing. Right thing? The right thing would be to call the professionals. My son serves proudly in the air force. He's logged thousands of hours of flight time and years of training in protecting our homeland, but he's not good enough. Well, of course he is, but he wasn't there. Spider-Man was. Because that's how he wanted it. God forbid he shared the spotlight what? with anyone. Imagine. I'm done pointing out the obvious. Let's go to commercials. Oh. I need a double aspirin with an antacid What? Oh. What'd you get her? That's so fancy. I I think it's okay. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. If only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. That, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well... A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... 
instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral, completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> For acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, <clears throat> I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, no. I get threats like this <clears throat> twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Well then. <clears throat> I need to get around somehow. Oh, <laughs> 
Right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? That guy, you Can't cross yet. <coughs> oh, fuck, it went too quickly. That was right there. Gotta help him. We have to leave. Now. That's Aunt May's boss. Uh-oh, spider man eels. One week later, I'm writing these letters nightly. Uh. 
I hope it's good, baby doll. Wow. Write down any of them that you want to try a bigger bottle of. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Jefferson Davis. But it's also a day to vow. Never again. It stops here. Some people say I blame everything on Spider-Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bombing. That cowardly act is squarely the responsibility of whoever committed it. But if we're gonna keep New York safe, we can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider-Man and his ill- Hey, Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. All units, mass terrorists reportedly have an armed bomb. Incident was reported near Sugar Hill. Over. One of Howard's pigeons. Don't run. I won't hurt you. I thought I was fucking still chasing these things. This pigeon knows the city better than I do. 
Yep. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna continue the story for a little bit, because it's a good story. And we're getting to one of the coolest scenes. Oop, black cat. Grab this while I'm here. Felicia's close to her goal. And I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. Alright, that's all the black cat things, minus the one for the actual mission. Oh, and another hidden photo. Oh, it must just be Oscorp itself, so let's... my issues with how they operate, but can't deny their success. Aww, all this for little old me. need a vacation or something. Dudes are way too high strung. Jay's hunch was right. Police is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around.
Okay, that's all of them. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Nobody knew I was here. I am the best Buddha man. Huh. High security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Like I could override the circuit. I need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Gotta find a junction box. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. That's it. I got it, but I don't know why I didn't just shoot my electric web at the box that was controlling the lock. from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. And lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. May go to bed. Did I say it right?
Do you think if I go out one more time I get a treat? Oh, okay. No, you generally reserve that for just you and me occasions. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. What? Thank you. Yeah, dog's gonna kill you. Okay, dog names. He's not out here. Better check inside. <laughs> they have bases all around the city. I'll have to do those later. What else can I find around here? Voice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune up. 
This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Silverbird, we're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this. Who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. No. 9 out of 10. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. We just call her Silver Sable. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. What? Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I 
talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hmm, this office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. <sighs> what could that do? Lee's office is the other way. I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. A key. Wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. Shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Yes. Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? By okay, through the floor grate. Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. I love you. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait!
I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more, but I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. This is Sable Control. What's the situation, South Towson? Control. Demons are attacking checkpoint Zulu. Missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. It's incredibly attractive. You should get one. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds Sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? Beautiful. Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. Great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Just blasting through all the research, eh, babe? Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this?
awesome. It's been nano latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Doc's messing around with superconductors. Maybe. Yeah, that's a yes. I said, yeah, that's a yes. Not yet, not this one. Okay, but then I need two segments that don't add anymore, or has... Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect Thanks, type baby. 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Some kind of polymer. Metal. is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Okay, we're two away from completion. And there aren't there no more.
did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. These things are awesome. So much simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future. Prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. Doc dove right in with the intracranial interface.
revolutionary, but not a hundred percent stable. We need to refine this design. I did it. I've always thought it's super weird how quickly. Mm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. I can, uh. In some sad, sick way. I can do the math on those circuit things. Some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their mm. beloved mayor only cares about himself. I think I'm just very quick at pattern recognition. To, up to, the truth, to finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. I guess. I don't know. I haven't never taken one. I'm sure you're super duper smart. Oh. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Just regular. Yep, they did. Yuri Lowenthal. If I remember correctly, also was the last voice actor for Jim Lake Jr. I have to tell you, Triple J, I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but after the city hall bombing, I gotta admit, you were right. A lot of people have been telling me that, congratulating me, but I don't want to congratulate I would have loved to have been wrong. Or better yet, those in a position of power would have listened to me and done something. But they didn't, and I'm not sure they'll listen now. Unless concerned citizens like you and I make ourselves impossible to ignore. Stand up! Take your city back! That's the only way we can ever be sure that justice will be done. That and listening to me every day! One more location should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. By my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50 and she might go straight. the gallery where they keep the jade tiger that's worth a cool million i've got to run my algorithm and find felicia quick
Found her high. Ground team, this is control. Boss wants an update on the theater district. Over. Taking heavy fire from demons at checkpoint Delta. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Freedom Tunnel. Before Feast started, this was a haven for New York. Bingo. This looks like everything she stole. Financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? a few years back. Wine from a Magia vineyard. What's this? Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more... flattering. If you've got it, flaunt it. This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? Spider-Man, the Black Cat just robbed the police department's evidence lockup. What? How? That place is like Fort Knox. All those cats you found? When they were all together in the evidence room, they linked up, boosted their signal, and deactivated the alarms. No one even saw her sneak in. She knew I'd find the cats and report them to you. She played me, again. What'd she take? Just her old costume and gear. She let me find 50 million worth of loot just so she could get her stuff back. Which means she's got something even bigger planned. Wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Are you smiling? You sound like you're smiling. I gotta go. <laughs> wow. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. of the secret photos. And then I can take this stupid little item off of this and actually put on something that's useful. Are you still with me, baby? Are you muted? Why are you in your bed? Ground team, this is stable control. What's our status at the yard? Control, AP. Is your what? You know Mary Jane Watson lives in Soho? I got an interesting chip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? 
I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. <sighs> MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We built this war beast for Lee, and he finances the boss's new venture. Yo, Rick! Boss wants to talk to you! Get in here! Well, you better clean your Need to get into that, that office. If boss sees that, he'll be pissed. So what's the boss doing with the money from this Lee job? Grave dust, man. What Other are they building? Is going straight into grave Is this dust. all for Lee? You tried any yet? Everything okay. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Yo, man. Why's the boss being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything? Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still, still paranoid. Who asked you? Get back to work. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? We're gonna pick up some more supplies. Not till we toss the empties. What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Uh, Won't notice? Uh, <gasps> Cause it won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment.
And now I need a new welder. Can't turn back now. Need to get into that office. Everything's okay. Am I hearing things? Come on now. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear from my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway... Here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what you want to be my sidekick? What, like a uh, spider girl? Spider woman? No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry. Just okay, catch right. something like that? Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. I'm killing time right so, now for this conversation. Now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners. Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. There we go. Now I can close the distance. Police look like they could use some help.
Thanks for the assist. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! Yeah, are you? You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. I'm not. He lives in the penthouse, Just the top more floor. Tired, which okay, sit tight. This was half. I'm having a so slightly easier time. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level. <sighs> Not being sad, I guess. But I'm not better. You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. Good fight. A for effort. That elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Touch you now. Okay. Almost there. Stay out of the light. How many fucking elevators are there in this place? Oh, building. Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. <laughs> All right, do this as an actual. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out.
have an actual stealth mission. Not necessarily go in and beat everybody up, but like... I need to clear the room before I talk to Standish. There we go. Room's cleared. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Eh, I did half and half. I at least kept them entertained at one side. Besides, apparently it wouldn't have mattered. Ow. Ow. I'll be honest. That one looks better broken. Oh, Jesus. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <laughs> Okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> I want to get to Act 3. We're in Act 2 right now. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these mm -hmm. Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. I love to believe What's it. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? <laughs> Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened to Standish? 
He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. So is he. What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. himself out. Budget crisis, yada yada yada. So, uh, will you please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real life projects. True, baby. True. Love your school projects, because at least they're not real-life projects. Multiple vehicle pursuit in progress. Officers, please report to Lincoln. Military grade. Weird. Spider Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is Can you stop the bombs I planted? The mystery man's got recon points spread all over the city. This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. Yeah. Can't let any of those bombs explode. So... Okay, take care of that one.
Okay, one more. So close to perfection. I was super close to perfection on that one. Nice work with the bombs, but you lean into your throat too much. Hurts the accuracy. Is this some kind of sick game to you? Games are for kids, and I'm a professional, and I get paid like it. Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money, and I've learned plenty watching you. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. Guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Good thing I already have a costume. All units, officers are in pursuit of mass terrorists with a bomb. Location is in the vicinity of Devil's Shelf. Chase has stopped, but Demon's armed a bomb. Gotta deal with it fast. Murder parade? Stopped. I feel like I did that very well. I did it. Ray Spider-Man. Mr. Call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve, and he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Sorry, spider emergency. Halloween party. Guess I don't have to change. Ah, he said that they, uh, they're looking for somebody, so you want to get in the car. Delaney's dressed as one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. Everyone's in costume. My people. Now there's a guy who puts in the effort. How about when Delaware came through? <laughs> hey, look at us! The Spider Bros! Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Ah, oh, oh, Spider Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. <coughs> oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? This is the end for you, Spider-Man! Now I have you! Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> smart ass. A 
guy throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. I'm looking for Isaac Delaney. I think he's on the dance floor. There he is. The lizard in the lab coat. Doc Connor was a lizard. Hey, look, it's Spider Boy. Since I'm one of your nemesis, we got to uh, fight. Maybe later. Oh, what's the matter, Spider Wimp? You afraid of my mighty horn? Hey, hey, hey who? What, what are you? Come on. Hey, uh, fight. Uh, kick fight. his ass, Spider Man. It easy. J just tell me what you want. This is a joke, right? I'll do it. Those aren't real guns. Back now. <laughs> Let him go. Everybody okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. How about some mood lighting? Where'd they take Delaney? Are you? You recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How, how do you how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name.
Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you. That's all of them. Gotta find Lee. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city, but they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay, I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. What happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask.
Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. Exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. This is bullshit. Table teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? Attention, all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. There it is. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy, Control. Bird inbound. Fucking helicopter too? Jesus, bud. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. There's the last one. Glad I'm wearing the fucking black suit. Could you imagine red and blue? Stick out like a fucking sore thumb. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Ain't nobody here but us spiders. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. Okay, if you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait, is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Jackpot. GR-27? Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Creepy. Whoa. GR-27 is Devil's Breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath.
MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head up to Central Park. What's this way? I almost had to figure out which direction I needed to go in, based off of building a location. That shootout's gonna get someone killed. Yeah. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Thirty-nine of fifty. Eleven secret photos left. It's only gonna get harder oh, from here. Yeah, MJ. Crap. Fucking MJ's at gunpoint right now. Fifteen minutes earlier. Jim, that place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, 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 very quietly. quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. I get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Out of the way, fella. Gotta my fucking grandmother would say. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Need to draw him away from the stairs. Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent.
Standish is secure, ma'am. Lockout comms as well. I do not want leaks to press about Michael's or Devil's breath. On it. She's... Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. truck moving. Should have been uptown half an hour ago. Copy. We're rolling. Truck's about to move. Should use it as cover. Go, go, go. Looks important. The safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. Hope his ego doesn't bite him in the ass. Or us. Again? What's up with these lights? Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You told him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... 
Oh, that was not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to go. No, he knows something. You still with me? Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out. My background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie. Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I mean, I have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... Especially if you no. sneak to a fucking no, armed nothing. military Listen, encampment. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Not against guns. Don't do it. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Miles' is mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Spider-Man, can you help us out? Spider-Man, we just caught a sniper stalking Mayor Osborne's chief of staff. I'm pretty sure there are other targets. Our perp had a map of the city with the courthouse circle. I'm on it. See if you can get more info out of our friend here and contact me at this number. Over here! I need to hurry. The attack on the courthouse could come any second. If the sniper sees me near the target, he'll take the shot. Only chance is to take out the gunman before he can fire. That time. Nobody likes a camper. Spider-Man! 
We accessed the perp's phone. Found more names and locations. Looks like it's all going down within a matter of minutes. No pressure. Send me what you got. Multiple snipers, one Spider-Man. I need to move fast. Anyone who's ever worked on Norman's campaign is a potential target now. That's one way to destroy Osborne, I guess. Make it so nobody wants to be around him. This game really does make me feel like Spider-Man. Now where's the assassin? One down, two to go. Like just the the fucking air movement that I'm capable of if I can learn the finesse. Sniper's got to be around here somewhere. Sleep it off. Target safe. Only one to go. And just the fact that, like, as long as I can see and Five quickly decide select, which die. side the, uh, the sniper's gonna be on here. Gotta check out all possible vantage points for snipers. I literally didn't see that coming. I don't have to worry. Just in time. Nailed it. Officer, all three snipers are down. Are we in the clear? Not quite. Our perp says his boys are holding a bunch of tourists hostage. He says they'll execute them all if we don't let them go. We have a probable location based on cell phone towers. But if they see cops, they'll start shooting. 41 out of 50. Nine Stop. more. I'll take away their bargaining chips. We won't leave witnesses. Either I save the hostages, or they're dead. Forty two out of fifty. I can tell you exactly where Grandpa went. This mission is bugged. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Like, I'm in front of this guy, clearly.
There we go. They won't leave witnesses. Either I save the hostages, or they're dead. all the hostages before I get close. We need time to coordinate the release of your friends. If I'm spotted, those hostages are dead. Gotta take out these guys quietly. Oops. I'm getting careless. If I'm spotted, those hostages are dead. Gotta take out these guys quietly. Our demands are simple. Ready night. Snoring now. Don't talk to You're in time out. Surprise. It's okay. Ugly. I wouldn't have known about it if not for you. We make a good team, officer. Hey, see if you can convince more of your buddies to work with me instead of shooting at me, okay? Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. The 
good shot. 43 out of 50. Let's talk about Halloween, folks. It may be good fun for the kids to dress up as a cowboy or astronaut or ballerina and trick or treat, but this trend of grown adults glorifying the likes of Spider Man by dressing up as them is, especially in the times we live in, disturbing. What say you, Gino, from the Bronx? Yeah, well, I get your point, but my girlfriend got this sexy Spider-Girl costume, and it really spices things up, you know what I'm saying? Huh. I most certainly J. Jonah Jameson is not one to be judgmental, but you, sir, are an extremely disturbed man! Come on! Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Let's take a look. Did it. Time for some science. What? <laughs> 